I really wish I had known I could have done it at home in this country. I thought everything had to be medicated. Yes, okay, all right, we're hearing you. We're talking about you. Yes. My name is Ava Dawn Alexander Lewis. I am from San Fernando, Pleasantville area in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm a mom of three kids, three boys. I'm married. In my first two births, uh, they did not let my body do take its time and do what it was supposed to do. It was just trying to rush to get the baby out. My 12 year old, I had him at the Gulfview Medical Center. I was a bit uncomfortable and my doctor induced uh, the birth. He came out and he was not crying. And I was so scared. And then I asked him, why is he so, so not crying? And they said, it's because of the, um, the drugs. He didn't latch until about three weeks. And I think it's because they gave him a bottle and all of that in the nursery before he got to connect with me and latch and breastfeed. So then for my second bit, I wanted to be a bit more in control of it. I pleaded with my husband to do a home bit and he told me I was crazy. <laughs> he told me I was crazy and I didn't get through with that one. So I had him again at the medical center. They boost, the, they boost my bag and um, I wasn't too happy with that either. And then for the third baby, I told them I want to have this baby at home. I don't want any, 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 anything to interfere with the birth. It's a natural process and I wanted it to be natural because I did a lot of research. Again, everybody thought I was crazy. It was so <laughs> nice for you to get my um, phone number yes. and for us to be <laughs> part of this. This is, this is what we are seeing here today. My bag was right at home in my kitchen and when I called my mother, I remember her saying, um, listen, go to the hospital. <laughs> go to the hospital, I will give you the money to pay the doctor. <laughs> Go to the hospital and I told her, no, everything's going to be fine. I'm comfortable with my choice. And um, I had this baby at home and this was one of my best experiences. Um, the hassle of when you go into labor, um, having to, to leave home to go to the hospital. I didn't even really have a bag. Everything was just home. I was comfortable. My friend was here with me. When my bag burst, I called my midwife. I had a bath in my own bathroom. I put on something, I don't even know what it was. I just had on my normal clothes at home and my kids were running around. It was so um, <laughs> easy. Yeah. You should have seen how she was in the bathtub, <laughs> enjoying that water. It was just a normal day for me until the actual thing started and it wasn't long at all. It took me an hour to get to pushing and then the baby came out and it was, it was beautiful. And then it say, aha, uh -huh. she say, I think I'm ready, yes? Yeah. And then everything just went smoothly. And here comes Shashad. Immediately I got to breastfeed. He latched on immediately and they didn't, that, that was not, part of the regime in the uh, medical center. They will take the baby away. They will just rest the baby, you will see the baby, and then they will take the baby away. And they put them in an incubator, and they clean them up and everything. But he was all dirty, <laughs> you know, and smelling so new and clean, and I got to hold him immediately, and they didn't take him away. I wasn't worried, because for my first two births, I remember, um, asking is the baby, is the baby, is the baby okay? My first, I had problems with him breastfeeding. He didn't latch until about three weeks. And I think it's because they gave him a bottle and all of that in the nursery. My husband, um, he, 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 there was the option for him to be in the delivery room at the medical center, but he always shied away from it. Um, he always shied away from it, but being at home, he had no choice. <laughs> when he was in the bedroom mm -hmm. with the other kids, he heard us say, oh my goodness, it's a boy. He 
wasn't a part of it in the room because I had my friends and he was taking care of the kids, trying to calm them down. But when the baby came out, he was there. He saw the entire, you know, all, all the graphic things and he got to cut the cord and he didn't cut any, he didn't get to cut any of the other cords. And I think that was really, really special for him. And um, he told me that he appreciated me more seeing that you know, he helped me up from the bed and seeing me in, you know, in the after pain and all of that because he had to take care of me, you know, help to take care of me instead of me just being laid up on a bed. He actually took full control of everything in the house and he, he took care of the kids. He did all the diaper changing. He did a lot more and I think it stemmed from him actually seeing me there going through this. He is so satisfied because, you know, Home delivery, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I just love yeah. being with mother and baby. Yeah. So having to come into your home and uh, meeting your family and be part of you giving birth, it was really, really a pleasure for me. And of course, with the assistance of Miss Copeland. Oh, there you go, oh yeah. can we forget her? Right? <laughs> yes. And this was my first time going to the public care. Um, I also heard all these bad stories about it that you will wait for hours and the entire day and everyone's like, are you crazy? Why are you going there? It's so easy. And I, I, you know, and I said, this is the only way I will get the midwife to do the home birth. <laughs> so I need to go to get the information. And I loved it. I love the clinic. I, I brag about the clinic versus the private seeing the gynecologist. So when you get to 36 weeks, I believe, uh, seeing the gynecologist, um, they would check every week. They would do vaginal checks every week and that wasn't done at the clinic. When they keep checking you, checking you, you were going to labor. I went to 40 weeks with this baby. I never got to 40 weeks before. The clinic is thorough, completely thorough. Um, they noticed everything. I had a, this, um, my neck started to um, the thyroid with the hormones and they saw it. I didn't even see it at home. And I was still going to my gynecologist. I would go to him, you know, in and out, in and out. And he didn't even see it. Even before, um, when you get there early, they would have nice talks with you about breastfeeding and these things that I did not experience in the private care at all. <laughs> the aftercare, um, the aftercare with home birth versus hospital. I told my mother, because she's not here, but I said, I have my midwives here. They are like my mom. <laughs> because um, they came every day for nine days. My midwife even offered to bear the baby for me. She came in, she was like, hey, you made this baby as yet? The private care that I, with my first two, I left and that was it. No relations after whatsoever. With my first, yes, um, my grandmother, she took control of me. I was home by her. I didn't bathe for nine days. Um, I, uh, I didn't eat certain things. Um, I remember her bathing me at nine days with uh, some bush. <laughs> All these things, and she 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 spinned me around, and she did a whole lot of things. She gave me stuff to dr to drink. Um, with my second, I was at my mother-in-law. Um, she did her own practices as well. And uh, with my third, I, I didn't do any any of any of it because I was at home by myself. Um, I didn't do anything. I had my bath and everything. I didn't do much of the practices, but I did burn my belly. Yes, I did. <laughs> the first two, there was no change in my body. Um, I, I got back to my normal, my pre-pregnancy size within a week or two. Um, with this baby, I'm having a bit of a struggle um, with my stomach area. Only my stomach area. I've already lost all the weight that I gained. I have a little issue um, going out. I am not very confident because of my abdomen. Um, so this is the issue that I'm having. I'm not even comfortable with my husband um, because, you know, my stomach is not going down as fast as it did before. Thank you all so, so much. Yeah. I appreciate everything that you all did. 
It really, really it was awesome. It meant a lot mm-hmm. to me, you know, and my family. Mm-hmm. It was such good service. And I will ensure that I let everybody know oh, about this nice. service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you because know? what we really want to um, promote yeah. is that about midwives and home, home, yeah. and home, deliveries, home deliveries, right? You don't have to go to a hospital to have a baby. You don't. You know? Yeah, you don't. And 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 now uh, it's said you have a problem, but if everything is it's normal good, yeah. and you know during your care, you can have your baby at home in the comfort of your home. 